go, folks. So, yeah, I said I was only going to do one video or two videos a week, but I really enjoyed it last night, and it helped a lot. Um, and um, before I get on today's to, to today's topic, I want to um, tell you a um, stupid thing I accidentally did yesterday just as I was trying to do this video, just before I did this video. I was trying to delete a couple of pictures to make room for it and um, accidentally deleted all of my pictures. Um, and some of them are on the cloud, but not all of them. So if there are any of you who are more tech savvy than myself, um, if you'd be willing to um, leave a comment below and give me some advice, I would appreciate it. Um, I'll continue working on trying to get some of the pictures back. Obviously, you know, many of them are of myself and my partner, and um, I don't want to lose those. Some of them are on Facebook, though, so that's a good thing. Okay, so today's topic, um, being a caregiver, as you, you know, any of you that are caregivers, um, has many challenges, and one of them um, that's on my mind today, actually on my mind every day, but especially today, um, is um, that my partner um, has a great deal of difficulty with eating. Um, she's always had a very easy gag reflex, so that doesn't help anything much. But Back in August, um, she had a bout of um, not being able to go to the bathroom, which went on for a month and landed her in the hospital. And during that bout is when she started vomiting pretty much every time she tried to eat. Um, and so she had to stay in the hospital at the VA and um, they, they took care of the problem and we haven't had that issue again, thankfully, because there are medications that can be taken with the opioids that she's on and um, you know that that eliminates that problem however she continues to have a great deal of difficulty eating um, now this is a woman that loves food um, loves eating has always loved eating it is her passion it is her comfort and she can't eat um, or won't eat it just depends um, and this has continued. She weighed over 200 pounds last year at this time, and now she is barely at or just below 130. Um, and every time she eats, and I'm talking about like a spoonful of soup, um, she can't. She can't do it. She says she gets nauseous, or that it's gagging her, that something about texture or the feel in her mouth or swallowing is bothersome. And they've run numerous tests um, and have found nothing, um, nothing to indicate there's cancer in the digestive system, nothing to indicate that there's any problem in that area. Um, so, you know, it's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly what the cause is. You know, I can't help but wonder if some of it isn't um, not psychological, you know. Um, isn't psychological. Um, you know, I'm not saying she does it intentionally. You know, I just think unconsciously, you know, she just can't do it. She can't handle it. Um, and I'm wondering if any of you have that experience with people you've provided care for, or if you're a survivor and, and you've had that issue yourself. Um, and anything you can offer would be great. Now, I will tell you what we've tried. We've tried soups, we've tried ice cream, we've tried jello, we've tried everything you can think of, just about even baby food. And she just can't seem to can't seem to take it in the, any nutrition. And of course that's not helping with her um, long term um, health for certain. Um, so I'm just wondering about that. And I, I really think that's about it for today. Um, I know it's a short video, but I can't think of much else at this point to, to discuss. Um, I will stand back and I want to, this is another part of the same park. And if you're interested in kind of getting the grand tour of the park, I already have videos that I've previously posted. So please feel free to check out my channel and take a look at those videos. And Give them, give them a like too. 
Um, all right, so this is Barbersville Park, and there is a small lake back here. And there's a much larger lake that you saw last night. And um, over the hill, right up that way, is the overlook I told you about. No, I take that back. The overlook is that way. Um, if you look hard enough, you might be able to see the old guard rail on that. And again, like I said, you don't have access to that. Um, you can see the sun's going down. Seems to be my favorite time of day to come out here, huh? And um, there are multiple, multiple, multiple baseball fields, softball fields, football fields, soccer fields. There's a huge soccer complex on the back side of the park, and I'll, maybe I'll do a video out there sometime. Um, tennis courts, you name it, we have it out here. Um, it's a beautiful park. Right now, they're also allowing bow hunting because we have an overabundance of deer in our area. So they are allowing bow hunting. And um, on certain days of the week, probably throughout the winter, I think through to the end of January, I'm not sure. Um, it's a great, great place to fish, both in this small lake and the big one down there. Um, it, it's a lovely place. Well, you all have a great day and please give me a like. And um, once again, any feedback you have to offer or any questions you have, just let me know. Thank you.